Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to a very special Sims 4 speed build. It is a Halloween collab, specifically the Simhain collab, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but this is a huge collab that I swear has been growing bigger and bigger every single year. I don't even know how, but it is put together by the wonderful, beautiful, talented, amazing builder Sadie Sims and there are so many amazing swimmers in this collab guys I'm not even joking I'm not even going to attempt to name them all because there's way too many but uh I think you could find them all with the hashtag Simhain collab and I will have more information linked in the description of course so that you can find everybody check out all these wonderful videos um it's such a diverse collab too because not everyone does videos some of them are just putting uh their builds on the gallery some are making Sims long to go with the build. Some are streaming it live. Uh, so it's really, really cool to be a part of this. I am very honored to be invited once again. And of course, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, probably my actual favorite holiday. I don't super celebrate or do anything anymore, but I used to. I used to go to haunted houses and haunted corn mazes and have big parties and bonfires. And my uh, best friend, when I used to live in Ohio, her mom was like way into Halloween. And every year her house would be fully decorated. She would have a graveyard in the front yard. She would have an animatronic witch flying around her roof. No joke. Um, they would make the whole backyard spooky and they would carve pumpkins and use the pumpkin seeds and bake them and have every different flavor you could think of. It was amazing. I felt like uh, Halloween was really, really done well in Ohio, but in Florida, I just, I don't know. I know there's haunted houses and things. I haven't really found much to do though. Uh, maybe I just got older and more boring, but I have gone to things like the Bush Gardens has Halloween Horror Nights, I think. One of them's called Halloween Horror Nights. I can't remember the other one's at Universal Studios and one is at Bush Gardens. I have been to both. They're pretty cool, but the problem with those haunted houses is you are literally fed into the house in a line of other people. So the you hear two people, three people scream in front of you and you know something's about to jump out. So it's very... Um, less scary, not as scary as the ones I've been to in Ohio, but some of them are still really cool to look at. Just look at the props and the actors and things like that. So I definitely enjoy those. If we have time in this video, maybe I'll tell you a few haunted house stories, but, uh, so this specific collab, let's go back to the house that we're building. It is meant for a supernatural or you could do a human and I did the easy route and I just went for a human's house. Um, so you're probably going to see lots of beautiful builds for mermaids and vampires and witches and all sorts of stuff from the other creators but a few of us choose to do humans and the reason I did that is because I really just like building family homes and I kind of wanted to give this house a very sort of creepy vibe and I kind of came up with a backstory not like a full backstory but I imagine that this house was originally haunted by two twin sisters and one of them uh Mm -mm, offed her other twin and took over the home and took over the estate and the property. So you'll see at the front of the house, you'll see again in the screenshots that I actually put two of the lady statues in front of the gate. But when you go inside of the house, there is a arch that leads to a giant statue and there's only one of the lady statues. So hmm, something may have happened to her twin sister. We don't know. So legend has it that the house is haunted. And so it had been up for sale for many, many centuries and nobody wanted to buy it. Not centuries, decades. Um, nobody wanted to buy it. And so one of the member, it kept getting like passed on through generation to generation to the family, uh, the descendants of the twin sisters, but nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted anything to do with it. They couldn't sell it until finally this generation decided she was going to move in. She was going to move into the house, bring her baby. She just had a baby. Uh, something happened to her husband. So she is single and she is moving into this house, but the house actually isn't bad inside. So I guess sort of, like I said, it's not a full fledged out story. Maybe she had it rehabbed. Maybe she's fixing it up slowly. Um, it's definitely livable inside. So she is definitely going along with this Halloween lore, the sister lore, and is fully decorating the outside of her house. There is a grave, a single grave in the yard, which we can assume was, you know, the twin sister that didn't make it and just lots of fun Halloween decorations. So I didn't go crazy with the inside. The yard was kind of my focus, but it is a spooky old house. I like the shape of it. I built it in Windenburg and one of like the really back corner lots. Uh, Windenburg is one of my favorite worlds to build in. It's super beautiful. It has a wonderful story, a wonderful history. Um, it has like the island with the lots that you could build on as well. And I just really enjoy building in Windenburg. So I thought this house would fit in here perfectly. 
So uh, here we are outside just decorating, putting some candy. We've got Patchy. Now, if you have seasons and you have Patchy and you talk to him enough, he actually comes to life. So I figured he was a perfect uh, prop slash ghost. I don't know what you would want to call him, but the perfect creature to put in our yard as well. And we have beautiful fairy statue. Lots of really cute stuff. I went crazy with the vines from vampires because they just make any house look creepy. They make any landscaping look creepy. And of course, we have a big, beautiful gargoyle at the front of the house as well. And I like the way it came out. The wallpaper that I used, I used like a dark brown wallpaper and then I used a stone. The stone almost looks like it's, I don't know, shimmering or sparkling. It's got like little gold flecks in it. So I really like that. I don't know if I've used that wallpaper before, but I love the way it looked. And then I had a bit of a problem with the inside shape of the house because I made it L-shaped and in my mind it was going to be amazing. But then when I started building, it was very hard <laughs> to configure. So I decided to do some gigantic double stairs leading to the upstairs. And again, I'm building the archway with the statue for the single sister. She will go in there uh, eventually. And I, I guess the part that I didn't like was how thin the bedrooms were because I had a hard time configuring where to put a bathroom. So I kind of just combined it with the nursery. So it like pokes into the nursery, but you can enter it from the hallway so you don't disturb the baby. And then um, also the living room was a bit difficult because I wanted um, a living room and a dining room, but there wasn't enough space to do both. So I combined them into one. And so the living room just ended up being this tiny little thing off the end of the dining room, but it still worked out. I think it adds to the sort of eerie vibe of the house. Everything's kind of uh, small and cramped in there and really old school. But again, it's it's been done up. It's not, there's not like spider webs or broken furniture or anything like that. It is definitely a livable home. So I feel like maybe they'll modernize it as they go on or maybe the family will just leave it like this. Maybe she likes it um, with the old school vibe, <laughs> keeping all the original furniture. I guess the rugs are a bit run down, but you know, that'll happen in a super old house like this <laughs> and I like the way it came out it's I didn't go crazy with furnishing or clutter or things like I would normally do but again the outside was really my focus that little yard and by the way if you want to check out some of my older videos or I guess it was a live stream but if you check out my gallery I have a lot of haunted creepy builds and one of my favorites I'll try to see if I can find it is a maze like we built this amazing huge family farmhouse and we turned their garage into a um, haunted maze and it is really creepy or really scary there are uh, monsters and clowns and machetes and <laughs> demon babies in every corner that you turn and you have to wait make your way out of the haunted house and I love it I, I, I need to find it I kind of want to find it and tour it on my twitch channel so if you haven't already make sure to follow me on twitch as well we do live content at twitch.tv slash I do that every day Monday through Friday um, and by the way I suck at introducing myself, but I play The Sims and Animal Crossing, mostly Animal Crossing, but I've been getting back into The Sims lately, so uh, definitely we'll be doing some of that on the channel as well, but I am into seahorses, unicorns, rainbows, kittens, and the color pink, and I'm a self-proclaimed mermaid, so that's a little bit about me. If you want to stick around, I have a thousand, I think now, almost a thousand videos on this channel if you want to subscribe if you haven't already, and most of them are The Sims here. I also have a ton of building tutorials, which you can find linked in the description. I have two playlists, one for beginners and one for advanced builders, and it literally walks you through anything that you need to know about building, all sorts of cool tips and tricks in the advanced series, definitely more better stuff than I've shown in this build. Like this build's a really basic one for me. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely have some cool tips and tricks for you guys if you want to check those out. And we have time. I have a couple minutes here. I could tell you a quick haunted house story since I promised it at the beginning if we had time. Um, I am terrified of clowns, guys. And when I was a child, I wasn't even that young. I was maybe like 10 or 12 or something. I went to a haunted house with my best friend, my childhood best friend. And as soon as we entered, there was this giant creepy clown with a chainsaw. It was a fake chainsaw, but it made noises like a real one. And he immediately knew that I was afraid of him. He picked up on that fear. He smelled that fear. And he was supposed to stay at the front of the haunted house and just scare people as they come in. But oh my goodness, he decided to follow me. He decided to follow me throughout the entire house. And at one point I fell down, I scraped my knee, I was bleeding, I was crying out for my mom. 
and this stupid clown is still chasing me with his chainsaw. It was so scary. I finally got out of there and ran like crazy and I was already so terrified of clowns, but that definitely was like one of the scariest experiences that really made me hate clowns even more. And so there is my haunted story. I have a lot more. If you do see this video and come over on Twitch to say hello, definitely ask me about my stories. I will tell you some more haunted house stories there. And if you want to post in the comments and tell me about your haunted house stories or even your ghost stories or spooky stories, definitely do that. I would love to hear from you guys. And we're about to go into the screenshots now. I am going to show you what it looks like at night uh, at the very end of the screenshot, so definitely stay tuned for that. But here is our yard in the morning. I wanted to show you kind of both so you could really see the detail and then kind of see it, what it looks like lit up at nighttime. Now we're going into the house and there is our lady statue. Ooh, there she is. There's the twin that made it. Roses at her feet. Lots of lore behind that. Um, then we have an entryway into our living room slash dining room. I guess it's not that tiny, but, you know, it would have been nice to have a grand dining and a grand living room. Uh, huge kitchen, lots of cub cabinets, lots of cupboards. And then here is our nursery. I wanted to keep it very simple, kind of spooky looking. Uh, we got baby Yoda on the changing table. <laughs> But I like the way I like the way it came out. Here's our master bedroom, pretty and pink, very beautiful. I actually like this house. I would live here. I like the old vintage furniture or the Victorian furniture. I dig it. Ghost stories aside, I would love to live here. And there is a beautiful fairy. <laughs> so guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe and stick around so you can see my next video. Let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below. I hope you have a very, very happy Halloween. And here are our dark, spooky screenshots. Enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful, 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 stalling for time here, day. <laughs>